Okay, so I've been waiting a while for Sony to come out with a pro version of the APS-C E-mount camera, and they just have not done it. So I've gone ahead and settled for the A6500, and I, I wish they'd come out with one that's slightly more pro that has a head, headphone jack and some other features, but oh well. And um, you can see here I'm putting this small rig cage on it, and I did a test at the end here. You're going to see I test, tested the autofocus with me standing up and just talking to see how well it locks on the face and holds focus. It looked like it took a little bit of time to kind of get a really sharp focus, but then it seemed like it did hold it, and it was a relatively low light situation, so it was a good uh, test. And this is my um, Zeiss 24 millimeter, well, Sony Zeiss 24 millimeter f1.8 lens which I really like that lens. It's relatively lightweight, uh, pretty sharp, and with the in-body image stabilization that's in this camera, that helps make up for the fact that that lens does not have stabilization. So um, it is easy to get to the ports on this, and you can see that's the pin for my spider holster. So if I want to put a heavier lens on this and carry this uh, at an event or something, I can uh, stash it in my uh, spider holster rig. I have a separate review on my channel for that. And after I added that, I also screwed on a Gordy's camera strap onto the cage, and that screwed right into the quarter 20. And these are very quiet, so they don't make any noise, no jingling or anything like that, like those um, two strap attachments that I removed on either side of the camera. Got rid of that jingling. Okay, so I'm using continuous autofocus, and we're in a relatively low light situation. I have my um, A6500 with the Zeiss 24 millimeter f1.8 lens, again at about f2, and I'm, I want to see if it can hold autofocus. Uh, it's at about a thousand ISO, and Again, we're relatively low light. We've got a little bit of window light coming in from over there, and, um, and that's it. And so we're going to see if this can hold focus in this kind of a scenario, see if it locks onto the face and is smart enough to hold that focus. I've had my A7S hunts some. My, all my other cameras hunt. I, I don't use any of them in uh, autofocus mode when I'm doing something like this. I, I focus on a, on a point and then put it in manual focus because I can't, I can't trust it, it hunts. So it's gonna be interesting to see if this one does the same thing or not. Oh, by the way, I'm using my new Sennheiser wireless mics right into the, uh, right into the mic input. So as you could see, it looked like it took a little while to lock in focus, but once it did, it held pretty good. I'll have to do some more testing, and in better light, it'll probably do even better, but so far, it might be promising.